Artemi Panarin has the most incredible journey that led to the NHL, but his off-the-ice lifestyle may surprise you. For Panarin, skating in, shoots, scores! Artemi Panarin, the hero in Game 7! Let's quickly start things off with his background and his early career. Artemi Sergeyevich Panarin was born and raised in Korkina, Russia. At three months old, his parents divorced and he was adopted by his grandparents, and they grew up in extreme poverty. His grandfather, Vladimir, was able to find him some used skates in the trash, but they were so big that Artemi wore a pair of shoes inside them. All of his gear was broken down, and he was bullied for it every day, but he didn't care and just kept skating. He then attended the Traktor Ice Hockey School in Chelyabinsk, where he trained six days a week for six months a year. Panarin made his KHL debut as a 17-year-old, but it was in 2011 that the rest of the world learned his name. Panarin was one of the least heralded players on Russia's roster at the 2011 World Junior Championships in Buffalo. In the gold medal game, Russia trailed Canada 3-0 in front of the heavily pro-Canada crowd. Panarin scored in the third to make it 3-1, sparking a Russian rally. It's for Tarasenko, back and they score! And Artemi Panarin gets the Russians back in it. He then scored the game-winning goal with 4.38 remaining. He's it in front, they score! Panarin gives the Russians the lead with 4.38 to go! Four years later, after establishing himself in the KHL and winning the Gagarin Cup with SKA St. Petersburg, Panarin began to be hounded by NHL teams. Time to talk about his NHL career and achievements. In April of 2015, Panarin signed a two-year entry-level contract with the Chicago Blackhawks worth $6,775,000. Panarin became an instant star in Chicago, skating on a line with Patrick Kane. And on opening night against the Rangers, he scored the defending cup champion's first goal of the season. Kane laid it right around it for and when he faced Lundqvist again, he scored his first hat trick. Here comes Panarin, he scores! A hat trick for Artemi Panarin. He went on to lead all NHL rookies in points. That postseason, he scored his first playoff goal and subsequently won the Calder Memorial Trophy. It's Artemi Panarin, the Cold Calder Trophy winner as the league's top rookie. Panarin built upon his rookie season and even recorded his first career Gordie Howe hat trick. And as soon as he got out of the box, he decided to win the game. Panarin holding, shooting, he scores! Panarin! Well, freshly out of the penalty box after the five minute major. After he posted career high point totals, the Blackhawks traded Artemi to Columbus. Artemi Panarin walking in, fires, scores! His first as a Blue Jacket. And his first season with the Blue Jackets, he put up 82 points, setting a franchise record. The following season, Panarin would break his own record, setting a new franchise point scoring record with 87 points. The Blue Jackets were then pushed into an awkward position get what they could for the star Russian at the trade deadline or make a playoff push and possibly get nothing after the season. They chose to go for it this season, and that decision ended with a second round loss to the Boston Bruins. Panarin became the NHL's top free agent that offseason and chose to sign with the New York Rangers, and he wasted no time making an impact. He finished the shortened season with a career-high 95 points. A personal leave of absence and an injury after a fight with Tom Wilson would limit him during the 2020-2021 season. Though nothing would prepare us for what he was going to do at the start of the 2024 season, he began with a franchise record 15-game point streak. And later that season, he had one of the strangest goals in NHL history. Done. Free puck, Panarin! And it's in the net, will it count? It crossed the line, but the net was off. And the officials are going to talk about it. He then went on to set his career high in goals against his former team. Panarin, sharp angle, and scores! For Panarin, that is goal number 33. Let's take a look at his recent contracts and brand deals. During his rookie season, he finished in the top 10 among forwards in scoring. This earned him a $2.55 million bonus pursuant 
to his contract. And during his sophomore season, Panarin signed a new two-year, $12 million contract with Chicago. But that's nothing compared to his deal with the Rangers. After becoming a free agent, Panarin signed a seven-year, $81.5 million contract with the New York Rangers, making him the NHL's highest paid winger. He also partnered with CCM, EA Sports, and Upper Deck, and they pay him $400,000 annually. Now that we know how much he makes, how does he spend his cash? In 2018, he went out and bought this luxury condo in Miami. The beachside home set him back $700,000. He also picked up this Jeep SRT, which set him back $65,000. And after he got that contract bonus in his rookie year, Panarin wanted to thank Patrick Kane for helping him achieve it. So he bought him a luxury watch, peeking now into his personal life. And trust me, it's not what you think. When Artemi moved to the United States, he did not speak any English. So he moved in with some Russian Chicago residents. They, along with fellow Russian teammates, Viktor Tianov and Artem Anisimov, also helped him learn English. How's the English uh, learning gone? What? <laughs> <laughs> During this time, he got the nickname Breadman. Coach Joel Quinville wanted to avoid confusion between him and Artem, and the nickname was inspired by the similarity between Panarin's last name and Panera Bread. In 2019, Artemi got engaged to Elisa Znaro. They married a couple years later and now have two kids together. Now for some moments, they caused some waves in Panarin's career. In 2019, Artemi became the largest Russian athlete to condemn Vladimir Putin. Panarin voiced his support for Russian opposition leader Alexei Navalny. He was subsequently forced to take a leave of absence from the Rangers after a Russian newspaper published allegations that he physically assaulted an 18-year-old woman in 2011 and bribed law enforcement to drop the charges. The allegations were made by his former KHL coach, Andrei Nazarov. Panarin and the Rangers denied the story's veracity, stating, this is clearly an intimidation tactic being used against Panarin for being outspoken on recent political events. His only on-ice controversy came in a game against the Bruins. Sure, we've got Brad Marchand and Artemi Panarin yelling at each other, and uh, right during the play, Artemi Panarin actually took his glove off and threw it across right over me. To Brad. He threw his glove at Brad Marchand, and the NHL fined him $5,000. Now at this point, you must be getting excited about his earnings. Panarin is still in his prime, so we're sure his net worth is going to rise. Having said that, his total career earnings to date are $77,032,500. Thanks for watching.